students coming to the next topic that is the object oriented design so in the previous video i explained about the object oriented analysis so after analyzing the project the next step is the object oriented design okay after object oriented analysis you have to start with the designing process so in this a conceptual model is developed further into an object oriented model using object oriented design okay so actually there are two stages of object oriented design uh, two stages will be present two stages of object oriented design was one is conceptual design conceptual design and the second one is detailed design so you can design your uh, product based on the requirements after analyzing you have to start the design work so the design can be done in conceptual oriented or in detailed design oriented now let us see what is this conceptual oriented conceptual design this in this conceptual design uh, it going to recognize all the classes required to build the system so first it is going to recognize so in the conceptual design it going to recognize all the classes required to build to build the system so first okay i recognized all the classes that are present uh, based on the requirements i going i'm going to uh, elaborate what are the classes that are present uh, that are used to build the system so after recognizing that um, in conceptual design the individual responsibilities are allocated to each class so responsibilities should be allocated to after identifying you have to assign assign the responsibilities responsibilities are allocated to allocated to each class okay so after identifying and uh, after that you have to assign the work after that uh, if you are going the high level design in high level design class diagram is used to analyze the relationship between classes and uh, high level design let me write that point you in high level design you use the class diagrams as well as uh, interaction diagrams okay so in the high level design you will use the class diagrams and the interaction diagrams for conceptual design so the class diagrams are used to analyze the relationship between the classes is used to analyze the relationship between classes so what that one class is related to other so whereas the interaction diagram is used for showing the flow of events shows the flow of events so this is about the conceptual design so in the object oriented design is having two stages conceptual designs and the detailed design the conceptual designs is always use the high level designs the high level designs will go for the conceptual design so in the conceptual design uh, there are two diagrams will be represented it means uh, for all the classes that you have to assign the uh, responsibilities so those can be represented by using the class diagram and the interaction diagram the class diagram is going to analyze the relationship between the classes whereas the interaction diagram shows the flow of the events just shows the flow of events means after one interaction so what is the next step like that now coming to the next thing that is the detailed design detailed design the detailed design uh, here the attributes and operations are allocated to each class attributes and operations are allocated to each class based on their interaction diagram based on their 
interaction diagram so whereas in the conceptual design we are just focus on the class diagrams and interaction diagrams means the communicate relationship between the classes and the flow of events that we are discussed whereas in detailed design we have to think about what are the attributes and what are the operations that are present in the class so the class will be declared with the attributes and operations means the internal uh, uh, structure so detailed structure of the class the attributes and operations are allocated to each class based on the interaction diagram here the state machine the state machine diagram is developed state machine diagram is developed to explain the next details next details of design is called as low level design is called as low level design one point you have to be uh, remember that uh, that is in the conceptual design uh, we will use the high level designs the high level designs will use a uh, concept conceptual design whereas the low level design will go for the detailed design because if you uh, in the high level if you give the detailed design it will be the project becomes very elaborated it means more length of codes and the uh, more documentation you need to write so uh, here in the detailed design you will you will use the state machine diagrams whereas in the conceptual diagrams you will uh, use the interaction diagrams there we go for the class diagrams and interaction diagrams and whereas in the detailed design we will follow the state machine diagrams is developed to explain the next details of design which is in a low level uh, design so this is about the object oriented design whenever they ask you to write about object oriented design try to write these two stages conceptual design and the detailed design thank you